He wrote an op-ed in Spanish explaining the need for U.S. involvement in stopping the cartels and how it should happen. And in a shocker, the president of Mexico said, no, thank you. He actually said much more and worse. He called the suggestion a potential violation of sovereignty and an insult to the Mexican people. First question, what's your response to the Mexican, pre Mexican president basically responding to your offer and the way he did? Yeah, you know, my response to him is, who are you representing, the, the Mexican people or the cartels? Uh, he seems to be representing the cartels. He seems to have their interest in mind. I mean, the Mexican people want to be rid of the cartels. The Mexican people have been terrorized by the cartels for 20 years at this point. Like, you, just, you just named a bunch of statistics. I mean, 60, 80, 100,000 people disappeared. They have open warfare on the streets of Mexico. They're some of the most well-armed, most well-funded paramilitary groups in the world. You think the Mexican people just want them around? Of course not. And for AMLO to say that, for AMLO to, to defend them, when we're, look, what, what our AUMF does is literally just help Mexico, you know, and he knows that, right? He makes it sound like there's going to be tanks rolling in over the border, you know, attacking Mexican military all of a sudden. That's, of course, not what's going to happen. But what happened is how the, the United States operates all the time in these situations. We do it by, with, and through our host government. You know, we, we had something called Plan Colombia that, that helped Colombia... Mm -hmm. Um, uh, release itself from the grip of cartels, uh, from the FARC, from the guerrillas, all of it. Uh, Colombia is a great place now. Uh, we need to replicate that in Mexico, but we had partners in, in Colombia, and, and that's what we're lacking with AMLO. You know, what I tell the Mexican people is this, if I could pick one country in the world besides my own, that I would make 10 times better, I would pick Mexico, because it's one of our most important allies. It's right there on our southern border. Like, we need Mexico, and they need us, and we need it to be a stable, safe place.